Congressman, it's so good to see you here at the DNC. Uh, happy to be here. It's exciting. So what would you say uh, the Vice President has to accomplish in her speech tonight? I think she has to um, lay out a vision of how she's going to help the American people. Right now there's a top concern about uh, fighting inflation as well as making just living more affordable. Um, I'm a parent of a toddler, two years old. I, we've seen um, grocery prices increase. She needs to talk about that. She needs to talk about how she's going to make housing more affordable and her plan to do so. And also give people hope that, you know, especially young people, if you work hard, you save your money, you're going to have an opportunity to buy a house in this country. And that's what it's really about. About laying out that vision in a compelling way, and I think she can do that. How, how would she need to govern differently than President Biden? I think first, uh, Biden's uh, policies were really popular, um, hands down, uh, reducing um, the price of insulin to $35 a, uh, a month, also the cap of out-of-pocket costs for Medicare. You pull those, they're sky high, very popular. Um, but he wasn't out there enough really selling what he was doing. She needs to be able to, any kind of accomplishment that she achieves, she needs to be out there selling it, not only you know uh, every few months, but every single month across the country, and especially to the people that are, um, dis, uh, I would say, disenchanted that things can be accomplished. And sometimes things are, they just don't feel it right away, and we need to kind of spell it out and give them a picture of how it's going to change their lives. So one of the things I've observed is that there's been, the discussion on foreign policy issues has been a bit thin at this convention. Would you agree? Why, why, that, why might that be? Well, uh, foreign policy is always, uh, when it comes to an, uh, an area and a time when people are, uh, the economy is the main number one concern, that's what people focus on. Focus on the issues that people care about, you know, food, housing. Um, how are you going to get by? How are you going to raise your children? How are you going to be like just thrive in this country? And I think that's where um, she's focused and she's focused on the concerns that the people want to talk about. How do you see bipartisanship fitting into that picture? I think um, one is that housing is no longer a blue state or a blue city issue. It's spread across the country. I had talked to a Republican in Ohio, number one issue, housing. Nebraska, number one issue, housing. Um, Florida, number one issue, housing. And so that's kind of the, the, the main issue that people are talking about is affordability and how do you make it easy for people to get by. And most people in this country get their wealth from owning a home. So they're connected and people need to feel like they have a stake in the, in the American dream. And the best way to do that is getting them an opportunity to buy something.